Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus for Sony PlayStation 2 again. Last time, we completed two quick stages. There was a ghastly voyage which had us on a movable platform shooting things as we went. And we also had Piranha Lake where we jet skied around in swamp water and ran over piranhas in order to get enough fuel to light a bunch of torches. I don't know how it works, but it did. And now we have two levels left to go, and I want to play them. And I'm going to have to go through this area here. Okay, that was something. Just to get to those levels. Since last time, I've gotten a couple more lives and I've gotten my charms back. Reason for that is... Is this the one? Yeah, this is the one. Reason for that is, I never had any in the last video to begin with. So I'm coming into this one with two charms. I'm coming in here with the gold charm. And the first level we're doing here is Descent into Danger. Three clue balls right here. Don't forget to break them. Bold of you to assume there's a health department anywhere around here. Anyway, we need to get on these bone ropes and sneak our way past. Almost got caught by that guy and Are you serious? I was trying to prevent that. Well, unfortunately for us That leaves us with only one of those bottles broken, unfortunately. Which means I may have to restart the level if I want to get that one, wow, that one bottle, or maybe not. Is it possible? No, it's not possible. I would have to just leave this area entirely uh, that's the problem with that one bottle here. You knock it into the water, and you can't get it back. Not unless you exit. And now we're going to have to go back in just to get that bottle. That is annoying. Did not have that happen at all the first time around. Let's see what happens if we go through here. And we will have to go up there where the enemies are. But that will take a little bit of effort and we won't be able to go up there until a little bit later. For now though, I do want to sneak my way in and there we go. Yeah, sometimes that bottle will just fall into the water and you have to go and get exit the level in order to get it back. So if you're wondering how I opened this bridge, there was a candle on that platform near to the left. By striking the candle, this bridge opened up. Otherwise, it would have been a spike trap that I would have run into and lost a charm on which is no fun for anyone. And now, we need to climb our way through here. And Bentley was not kidding when he said there were bones and body parts in this water, because you can see them falling down the waterfall there. And now, we have to deal with a spider before swinging our way over here. Want to be very careful here. There are some searchlights here. And the wooden part, these wooden parts of the platform, this whole platform menagerie that you're on, 
if you land on them, they do break off and they come down. So you're better off maneuvering around the green parts, jumping over the wooden parts, and just trying not to run into any spikes. And if you're wondering how to turn off the spotlights, there it is. It's that alarm that's right over there. And I was not kidding when I said the wooden parts fall down under your weight, because they will. Now, believe it or not, there are two ways to get down here. The w first way is obviously through here. Hopefully without run falling into the spikes. I nearly did that, but thankfully I didn't. And the second way is this way. Now we will have to backtrack a little bit, but that's okay. We can get back to where we were pretty easily to begin with. So once we get back to where we were, we thankfully will not have to deal with the spotlights because we got rid of them. All we really have to deal with now, yikes, are these parts of the level here. Okay, we, we've been where we need to be. We can just jump over here and I can just grab onto that. Now, if you try to c continue any further on that platform, you'll get spotted. That's why you climb up here, and then you can make your way to the side of this guy, and then you can get to these clue bottles. And now we have this guy. This guy will move back and forth, and we want to be very careful. Thankfully, he does not shine the light at us as he moves back and forth. Not from that distance, anyway. And now, we have this area. We need to be very careful as we make our way through here. Trying to find a good camera angle to do this with. That is perfect. I just need to wait for him to move in that direction. Perfect. Now we can get all of these clue bottles. But of course... When we do that, we pretty much bring ourselves back to the start. That's okay. I need to see how I'm doing coin-wise. How am I doing? That's not a, the button I should have pressed. I need to press start, not select. Oh well. If only there was a way to actually look at your stats for the level without having to pause the game. Sadly, that's not until the sequels. Now we need to do it, get through here one more time, amazingly. Which means we need to brave all of these spike-laden areas just to get back here. And thankfully, I did a little better that time around. And as soon as I grab this rope, we will get some dialogue. Well, that doesn't seem pleasant, now does it? As you can see, there are more bones and hands in that water. Something you probably won't be able to see very much of up close. And two, there is a charm that I want to get. I want to get it first. And now, I want to drop down to get the note clue bottles that we saw earlier. 
And we can jump over here to get to the other three. Now, if only we could jump to the rope, press circle, and then automatically grab it. But once again, by doing this, we have the backtrack. I wonder. I have water safety. Can I do this? No, I can't. I thought maybe I'd be able to get a shortcut doing it that way. Oh, well. So we're going to have to go all the way back down again. And this is actually the part where it does get annoying. It's a fun, this is a fun course to, this is a fun stage to do time attack on and just do a general run through. Not exactly the best one to find all the note bottles in. Not not the best one to find all the clue bottles in. Just because of all the backtracking that you have to do. Mostly because all that backtracking is forced. And of course, that whole part right there. Which makes all the backtracking even worse. Now we can finally do something around here. Now, we're back to where we were. We need to watch out for the searchlight and the lasers. Both trip the alarm. We don't want to trip the alarm. And we saw some clue bottles to the side. Once we get over here... We do want to carefully make our way over to all that. And there we go. And we need to get past all these searchlights and hit the alarm in the center here while also hitting all of the candles in this area without getting hit by a flying, flaming skull. So that way, we can get over here. Perfect. Are there any coins that I can grab? I doubt there are. There aren't. But at least here you can kind of see those hands and those bones close up. And now, we need to carefully jump our way over here, because we have the alternating torches again. And once we get over here, one, need to smack that guy. And we can hit all these torches again just because we can. We've gotten all but two of the clue bottles, and the last two will be all the way right here, next to the vault. Ah, uh, so close to 573. Trisu Yamato would not be impressed. Tisk tisk. And we have the perpetual slow motion technique, which is an update to the slow ability that we got some time ago. Now you can use the ability to slow time whenever you want. And it looks incredibly weird when you're turning around and running around on the ground while you're using it. Anyway, let's go ahead and slide down here. This will take us straight to the treasure key. Just one more to go. And now, we need to go back 
Whoa. To the a ghastly voyage. We need to go back to the interest of that and go up here. There is an enemy that we need to beat up. There's the last place we need to go, down home cooking, but I don't want to go over there just yet. Because not only can we take care of this guy, but if we destroy these candles, we will be able to get rid of this force field and we can go between both of these areas anytime we want. Is there a... Okay, there is. I have to say, is there a trampoline over here that can get us back here? And the answer is yes. Anyway, let's go ahead and play Down Home Cooking. With all the hay and feathers in here, just looking at this place has got me breaking out in hives. But we've got no choice. That ghost over there contacted me on Spectre Wave Radio, and we've cut a deal. He's promised us a key if you can whack 50 chickens. I guess he needs them to make a big pot of gumbo, but he's scared of the bob-toed roosters. Be careful, or they'll blow you to bits. Think you can do it? And from here, we go forward, and the minigame begins. You want to start running around, and you just want to keep pressing square so that way you can hit the chickens whenever you get close enough to them. Whenever you hear a whistle, that's when the two bomb-toting roosters will show up. The best way to get rid of them is to get them to run into each other. If you can do that, you'll have an easier time. Now, they will come back. They always come back. But if you can get them to constantly run into each other, they won't be that much of a problem. And you want to watch where they come in because you never know when they might show up. And, of course, you want to make sure you don't hit them because if you do, it's going to hurt. You're... Wow. You're going to lose one of your charms. It's not exactly going to be pleasant. And thankfully, you can still jump while you're here. You can use it to jump over the barrels and the pots and the crates here. And you can easily jump over those things and give yourself a shortcut away from the bomb-toning roosters. And once you hit 50 of these chickens in two minutes, you'll get the treasure key as promised by the ghost. Might as well go ahead and grab it. And there we are. We now have all seven treasure keys. I believe that's all seven. Yeah, that is all seven in this area. Which means that we can now go and face Miss Ruby. But that will have to wait until the next video. So join me next time where we face Ms. Ruby for the third part of the Stevie's Raccoonus and go on to get another part. Because after this, it'll be three down and two more to go. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!